Hi everyone, we have uh, an algebra square root question to solve. So to uh, simplify, so we are asked to simplify the square root of 400 divided by 20 minus square root of 399. So the first thing we will do is to rationalize the denominator. So to rationalize the denominator, we are going to multiply and divide by the conjugate of the denominator. Now, the conjugate of the denominator is 20 plus root 399. So we are going to rationalize first. So let us rationalize. So to do that, we will have the square root of 400 divided by 20 minus square root of 399 multiplied by 20 plus root 399 divided by 20 plus square root of 399. Okay, so this is equal to the square root of 400 multiplied by 20 plus root 399 divided by 20 minus root 399 multiplied by 20 plus root 399. All right, let us recall that A minus B multiplied by A plus B is equal to A squared minus B squared. Therefore, this will be equal to the square root of 400 multiplied by 20 plus root 399 divided by, so this will give us 20 squared minus root 399 squared. So I want us to recall that square root of A squared is equal to A. That means that this is equal to the square root of 400 bracket 20 plus 399 divided by 20 squared minus this will reduce this and we have 399. So this is equal to the square root of 400 multiplied by 20 plus root 399 divided by 20 squared is 400 minus 399. Please hit the subscription button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. If this is the first time you are seeing this channel, give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Thank you very much. And always tune in at your convenience. By God's grace, there must be something new for you to watch. Thank you. So this will give us the square root of 400 bracket 20 plus root 399 divided by 400 minus 399 is 1. So that means that this is the same thing as remember that square root of A divided by P is equal to square root of A divided by square root of B. Okay, so that means that this is equal to the square root of 400 brackets 20 plus root 399 divided by the square root of 1. Okay, so this will give us square root of 400 bracket 20 plus root 399. Yes, because square root of 1 is 1. Now let us recall that square root of A multiplied by B is equal to square root of A multiplied by square root of B. Therefore, this can be expressed as square root of 400 multiplied by square root of 20 plus root 399. 
so square root of 400 is 20 so we have 20 root 20 plus root 3 9 9 this same thing as 20 roots, one bracket, 20 plus root 399. All right. Okay. But you know that we can say that 1 is equal to 2 divided by 2. And therefore, we can write this as 20 roots, 2 divided by 2, multiplied by 20 plus root 399. All right, so moving forward, this is the last thing we wrote, that this is equal to 20, square root of 2 over 2, bracket 20 plus square root of 399. This is where we are. So we can solve this as 20 root 2 multiplied by 20 plus root 399 divided by these two okay so we can open the brackets square root of 2 times 20 is 40 plus 2 times root 399 right 2 root 399 divided by 2 but 40 is something as 19 plus 21 right now we chose 19 plus 21 because 19 times 21 will also give you 399 so we can now express this as 20 root 19 plus 21 that is for 40 plus 2 root now 399 is same thing as 19 multiplied by 21 divided by 2 so this is equal to 20 root 19 can be expressed as square root of 19 squared plus 21 can be expressed as square root of 21 squared plus 2 root 19 multiplied by 21 everything divided by 2 is same thing as square root of 2 squared so I want us to recall that a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to a plus b all squared. All right. Now, I want you to know that 19, this can be expressed as the square root of ab is same thing as square root of a multiplied by square root of b. Therefore, we can write this as 20 root square root of 19 squared square root of 21 squared 2. Now, we can separate this as root 19 multiplied by root 21. Everything divided by root 2 squared. So, we can now apply this, okay? So we have 20 roots. That means that our A is what? Root 19. And our B is what? Root 21. So we have this plus root 21. All squared. Divided by root 2 squared. Now recall that square root of a squared over square root of b squared is equal to the square root of a over b all squared all right so that means that when you have a over b or a squared over b squared all right it's the same thing as a over b all squared i would rather say that a over b a squared over b squared is equal to a over b all squared i think this is clearer than this i'm sorry about that so we now have 20 root 
So that means this can be written as square root of 19 plus square root of 21 divided by root 2 all squared. Yes. So this will be 20. Then this we remove this. We have root 19 plus root 21 divided by root 2. So we can bring this root 2 out and write 20 over root 2 brackets root 19 plus root 21. Okay, now let us rationalize this denominator. To do that, we will have 20 over root 2 multiplied by root 2 over root 2 brackets root 19 plus root 21. So we have 20 root 2 divided by root 2 times root 2 is 2. Okay. Bracket root 19 plus root 21. So 2 we divide this to give us 10. So we have 10 root 2 bracket root 19 plus root 21. Now this is okay, but we can simplify further as 10 root 2 multiplied by root 19, if we open the bracket, plus 10 root 2 multiplied by root 21. So we are going to have 10 root 2 times 19, right? Plus 10 root 2 times 21. Now let us complete this here. All right. So this is what we wrote last. 10 root 2 multiplied by 19 plus 10 root 2 multiplied by 21. So we have 10 root 2 times 9, 18, carry 1, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, 3, plus 10 root 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Now you can see that we have 10 in common, so we can factorize that out and put these two in brackets root 38 plus root 42 and that is the answer thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye